What is up, everybody? And welcome back to the Scavoli Tana Show! <laughs> uh, welcome back! And before we start this breakdown of Season 1 of The Bad Batch and my thoughts on it. Um, and what's to come for Season 2? I don't know if I ha I'll have my theories on Season 2 for this episode. Make sure you guys subscribe down below to the YouTube channel, The Scavoli Tana Show, for more fun unboxings, reactions, breakdowns, sexiness, awesomeness, omeganess, grogueness is up there, and Ahsoka-ness is in the corner over there. Um, and welcome back to the Scavoli Tana Show, guys. Hope everybody's doing good on this No Bad Batch Friday today. Um, tears. Tears. I miss the Bad Batch. I'm still in my Bad Batch gear. And Omega. I love, I love my new Bad Batch hat, though. I love this hat. And we have Omega here. Uh, she had an impactful season one. You know, Omega, we knew her as the little girl that we saw in the trailer. We didn't know what she was about. We didn't know who she was voiced by. And then all of a sudden, Michelle Ang voiced her, which I love Michelle Ang so much. She played in Fear of the Walking Dead. Um, and then, yeah, we have, we get her and we get her story a little. She is older than the Bad Batch. We don't know by how much. We don't know if she's really older than them because we don't know how, really how old the, um, how the Bad Batch is. We know that the Bad Batch are older, if we could say, if I could say that, older than her, because they are grown-ups, they are adults. She's not an adult. Uh, I think she ages like four times slower than the human, and then they age like four times faster than a human. So, and if they're still alive and Rebels, they're like Captain Rex right now. They're like Rex. Um, or maybe not, we don't know, because Rex could be in the Ahsoka series, and Rex is really old. He is really old. And we don't know, the world beyond worlds. Remember that, world beyond worlds. But anyway, getting back to the Bad Batch. Um, see, season one of the Bad Batch was great. To me, it had intenseness, it had action, it had some sad scenes, a lot of sad scenes. Uh, we see how the clones are phased out for the Empire's needs, because the Empire doesn't want them no more. Uh, we see that the clones have their free will, that they can talk, that they can fight back because they executed the Jedi for treason. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why, because it was a chip. I understand that, but come on, you can fight that chip, you can fight it. But I understand if it's too, and no, that chip is really bad. If I had a chip in my head, I think I would just turn it over because of the chip telling me too. Good solo solo waters. Um, and I think with Crosshair going to the Empire is, I think we knew in the beginning we knew one of them was not gonna, uh, is gonna go with Order 66 and the Empire. I didn't think all the Bad Batch would have have been alone at the Clone Force 99 without one of them turning dark, you know? And and it was right for Crosshair because Crosshair had that dark antics and he really, I, I really, with Crosshair, he really didn't fit in with the Bad Batch. He was special, he was a good sharp, he's a good ass sharpshooter, don't get me wrong. But to me, he wasn't, um, he would always make s smart remarks to Wrecker and stuff and do things on his own free will, you know? And that goes back to his chip in his head. And it was, it's was it been confirmed by the executive producer, Jennifer, um, I don't know, Corbo, Corbett, Cor, Corby, something like that, uh, and Brett Rao, that his chip is taken out because of his head. And I have a theory on that, that his chip is definitely taken out. I think his chip is definitely taken out because his his head, if you see, let's pull up a picture right here. His head from right here is burnt because he got burnt in one of the episodes, the Captain Rex episode. No, the Captain Rex, I think episode seven. He got burnt in episode seven. And his whole side of his head is burnt. So the chip had to die, had to be burnt to crisps in that episode. It had to be because if there wasn't, then why is he doing the orders? We all know that the clones have free will though. They follow orders what they want. That's that's what we get from Hauser in the Ryloth arc. That he has his own free will, he has his own colors, and he's ready to and he's ready to stop his brothers because he knows, he knows that what they're doing is wrong and the Empire is wrong. And that's why. He says that his big speech. I love his speech. I love Howard. Hope we see that man again. Hope we see that awesome clone again. And Hera. I love Hera. Um, yeah. So we see them have their own free will. I think if you just come come through to a Jedi, I think they're going to shoot him down because their chip is still in here. Hauser still does have his chip. But I think he has his own free will too. I think some clones have their own free will and some clones don't. 
Like some clones just, okay, let's change my armor, da, 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 let's do this. But some clones like Hauser that we only see has all his, as the Ryloth like colors, like uh, green and white. So they do have their own free will. So I think with Crosshair, if his chip does get burned out, right? It's burned out because we see him get burned really badly. And he, and he heals the next ep uh, couple episodes after that, or the next episode, I'm not too sure. Um, and he's still doing things for the Empire, but doesn't he miss his brothers? That's my point. Like he says in the last two episodes, like, you just left me. Like you abandoned me. Like I was your brother. But he really had no choice because it was the chip. So you don't know who to believe. You don't know if you want if you want to go side with the I side with the Bad Bats because they did try to get Crosshair back. But he just had his chip and they waited too long to take it out. Because I think if they took it out maybe episode three, Crosshair would be back with the Bad Bats, no doubt about it. Because we see him hold his head at the end of the final episode. It's episode 16, Lost in Camino. Lost Camino, not Lost in Camino. Lost Camino. Camino Lost, excuse me. Um, so he does have his own free will and he does hold his head. So I don't know what they're trying to get at if he has his chip. If he doesn't have his chip, right, and we take and we don't see him taking his chip out, then what is the purpose of you saying in an interview that his chip is, is taken out and he's doing things for the Empire because he thinks the Empire is right in so many ways, which the Empire is not. It's evil. And I think Crosshair just turned evil. I think along, I think he does miss his brother sometimes because in the uh, when they go back to um, Bad Batch, Clone Force 99's uh, room in Kamino, I don't know what episode, I think it's episode four or three, or f three or four. Uh, he just sits and just reads, no, episode one, excuse me, episode one. Um, and this just thinks, like, missing his brothers, you know? So if you miss your brothers that bad, right? When did you go try to find them or hunt them down faster? You know? So I think with Crosshair, I think Crosshair is just Empire's tool now. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen to him at the end of uh, Camino Lost. Because he's now he's stranded. I don't know if he has a comm still. I don't know how he's going to get the hell off. We know the Bad Batch went on the Marauder and left. We know that. And they're on to their next journey of the world. Uh, of season two of the Bad Batch will premiere next year. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see Omega again. I cannot. But I definitely think ba Crosshair has his own free will. I definitely think his chip is definitely taken out. Um, I don't think he has the chip. I really, or, unless they put in a new inhibitor chip that's stronger and we don't know about, that's the only, that's the only way. I, I'm, I'm toward, he doesn't have his chip and he does have his chip. Because he's holding his head, he's like, ah. so I don't know. I really don't know. Unless they, he, he's just burnt, he just gets headaches, he just gets migraines all of a sudden because he ha his head hurts because he's burnt half a side of his head. That could be the issue too. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm really not sure of of this. I don't know. They they confirm that his chip is out, but we. <sighs> People don't believe that. I don't. I don't know what I believe. I really don't because because he's holding his head, he's burnt half of his face where the chip is on this side. No, it's this side. On this side, and like if you pull up a picture right here, his head is burned. Like so, the chip is right there. Almost it's half dead and half on. I, I don't know how that would work though. Half half orders, half niceness. Like that would make no sense. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think? Does Crosshair still have his chip or he doesn't? Because he's holding his head. And he said good soldiers follow orders too in the last episode. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But we'll see more of Crosshair and Crosshair's story through the Empire's eyes. Through Crosshair's eyes, but also the Empire's eyes. Um, and with season two coming, Dr. That doctor that he, uh, they brought Nala Se to has the same outfit as Dr. Pershing's in The Mandalorian. So they are doing cloning. Will we see Grogu next week? Next episode. Not next week. Next episode. Will we see Grogu? Will we see Sidious, his cloning? I really hope the Bad Batch find out who Sidious is and who Darth Vader is. We need to, we, people need to know who Darth Vader is. I'm sorry, people of the world. We need to know he's Anakin Skywalker. We need to know.
because that is his identity. I don't I don't compare Darth Vader and Anakin in the same round with each other because they're both two different people. Clone Wars Anakin and Revenge of the Sith and Attack of the Clones Anakin is Anakin. Nice, but the movies don't do Anakin justice. Clone Wars Anakin does. We love Clone Wars Anakin. Now we have Darth Vader. That's evil, brutal. We'll just force choke you if you look at him sideways. He will do that. So I don't compare those two. So I really hope we see in season two that they come, that we know like the Bad Batch know or Captain Rex knows or someone knows that he is not, he is Anakin Skywalker. You know, we see Ahsoka finding out. We see that Yoda found out. We see that Luke finds out. We see that Obi-Wan. Those are the other people that know. We want other people to know that. See what they're, see what that guy did for us and now he's turned dark, you know? Uh, I hope we see Coruscant in season two. I said that in my Mandalorian. Uh, uh, season three breakdown uh spoilers and theories go check that out that check that video out too uh i hope we see mandalore you know i hope we see more of the bad Bites adventures around the galaxy and making their way through the universe without the republic's help without now the empire is going to be after them you know uh because they're a threat the clone force 99 is a threat to the empire and we're, who's going to get wiped out you know i don't think anyone's going to die but who's good who's chasing them down you know, when we see Cat Bane, Fennec Shan again, um, we're definitely going to see Omega. I want Omega to have some armor. Omega, you deserve some armor. And then you buy me armor. You give me armor. Cool, man. And is she Force-sensitive? Like, that answer is still up in the air right now. Is she Force-sensitive? Um, and Dr. Pershings. Are we going to see Grogu in Season 2? Yeah, right? But we want to know who rescued him from the temple. That's what we need to know. That's what we need to know. But Bad Batch for Season 1 had high expectations and they and they killed it i think bringing in a clone force 99 seeing the clones firsthand what they do and they phase out the clones very quickly we don't know what the time is we don't know what the half time jump is we don't know any of that but we do know that clone force 99 will have a season two and we will find out more information about about the empire about omega crosshair and even clone force 99 uh, and see what they see how they make through their galaxy. I want to see Cody again. I really do. I want to see Rex again. I want to see Bo Katan maybe. I want to see Ahsoka. Uh, we're gonna have to see Omega definitely. She's part of Clone Force ninety nine now. Uh, Rex, I say. I want to just see them. You know, maybe Grogu set up Grogu for season two finale. I would die. See him animated. I would die. I would literally die. Uh, and I hope we get a season three. You know, I think. Uh, Bad Batch is good. I really, I really like the Bad Batch. For some reason, they click with me. And not a lot of shows click with me. Star Wars shows I love, but sometimes I go, eh, that's not a good show. Eh, that's all right. Eh. But Bad Batch really clicked with me because I think about my little Omega here. My little daughter. I love her. Uh, but yeah, guys, so leave your comments down below what you guys think about Crosshair. And do, would would you want Baby uh, Yoda to, Baby Yoda at the time, but his name is Grogu, to see some clones? You know, who who is who are they starting to clone? You know, are they getting ready for Snoke? Are they ready for a Palpatine, uh, Cinder, you know, kind of situation, you know? Um, and who else are they cloning? You know, Jedi. There's We all know that the Jedi burn their bodies in the comic. Like all the, no, not the Jedi bodies. All the lightsabers got burnt. But where are the bodies? Let me leave you with that. Hmm. Where are the Jedi bodies hmm. when they're executed? Hmm. How do they get rid of them? Hmm. I don't think they burned them in front of Coruscant. Hmm. I don't think so. I think they burned hmm. the lightsabers hmm. in Coruscant. Hmm. So they could be cloned in body. They could be cloned Sith right now because that's getting DNA from each Jedi. So keep that in mind. Uh, be, uh, make sure you guys subscribe down below to the YouTube channel, The Skavola Tano Show, for more fun unboxings, reactions, awesomeness, sexiness, uh, groguness, omeganess, and ahsokaness. All in that order. Uh, and let me know what you guys think about season one and what do you guys think for season two coming up. So uh, be kind to one another and may the fools be with you. Always. Bye.